Hey, what's up guys? So, we got a pretty cool one this episode. We're actually gonna go out to North Shore, heading there now. It's my son, hey, what's up buddy? So, it's uh, his best friend, I guess they got, uh, their family got a beach house, they rented. So, we're gonna go, um, he asked, they asked if he could come, so I was like, yeah, yeah, sure. So, I said, hey, can I bring some poles and fish? They said, of course, so. Yeah, we're gonna go head out there, just do a little fishing and let the kids play together and have a great time, man. Sorry, wish us luck. All right, let's go. Hold on, hold on. Oh yeah, check this out, guys. All this used to be pineapple fields, as far as I could see before, but now it's just grass. <laughs> All right, you can see the water. How's the water? Looks like it weighs away. What do you think, son? It's okay. It's okay? Yeah. Alright. Just want to wish all you fathers out there happy Father's Day. Hooray, Jim. Right there, son. Wailua. I believe my great grandparents moved out this side, actually. So it's kind of funny that I actually had a lot of family out here in Wailua. Um, they're all farmers. So you see have a big Japanese community out here in Wailua, but now it's Filipinos and all kind, a lot of white people. <laughs> um, a lot of, you know, North Shore action surfers, you know, but it's kind of neat. It's kind of like almost coming home for me because I remember my, uh, even my grandparents had a house out here, um, right by the beach, but obviously not anymore, but, um, it's just nice. I think my uncle guys owned one of the gas stations out here. So the water harvest side was kind of bigger out here, but not anymore. They all kind of moved on, but it's just nice coming back to almost where you feel your roots are. So, all right. It'd be really nice to show my son and everything, how the side, how nice the side is. So we got to the beach house and it was so beautiful. It was literally light conditions. So we said, hey kids, let them play on the beach and have a good time. And yes, that's his friend Titus and he is 10 years old and he's taller than me. <laughs> Jayden, be careful. Okay, check this out. What a beautiful sight. Crystal clear blue water. It's a little current. Looks like on the outside pulling that way. So I'm going to try to stay on this side. Um, probably not go too far out because I never dove here by before and I'm by myself but hopefully I can just get out there maybe find a taco I'm hoping that underneath the shells they might have some um, some available or just uh, mempachi some kind of reds under there but who knows but we'll just try to get wet take you guys with me all right guys let's go man here we go all right here we go a little bit windy but try to get it <laughs> so I jumped in and it wasn't as clear as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> and the waves kind of picked up, the wind picked up, but it was pretty cool. There's a lot of life, um, not a ton of it, but enough. And I was like, yes, look, reds, <laughs> but wrong kind of reds. When I went in, I was like, oh, look, Mimpachi, what is that? And then it's a squirrel fish so if you guys ever got stuck with one of these you don't ever want to shoot another one again these things are really spiky they're not that very good eating so you know i, I decided not to shoot any of them so i switched over to my roller gun so i got this gun it's a hammerhead roller 110 it is amazing i love this gun so we're gonna take this, we're gonna try to work our way all the way to the outside, past or close to the breakers or past there. Because on the inside, there was a lot of fish, but a lot of it was kind of smaller and it's kind of dead. And surprisingly, I thought I would find a ton of taco, but they must not be in the shallows yet because I didn't find anything. It looked all like this. Then while I was working my way out, I seen this little core head and I saw a bunch of stuff going underneath this ledge. I was like, oh, okay, let me go check it out. So here we go, let's go make the drop, guys. Ooh, reds, 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 reds. Here we go. Ah, rubber. More squirrel fish. 
I think I could have filled a whole stringer full of those guys. Man, I was so excited. I thought for sure this would be a mapache hole, but nope, just really big squirrel fish. Oh man. All right, let's see how we do on the outside. And as soon as I went back up, I saw this um, this uh, Moano. This is a many barred goldfish. They don't really get that big, but I seen him dart left to right, and I was like, okay. So I just grabbed my gun. I didn't have time to even turn on my camera. I just turned and took a shot and stoned him. I was so stoked, so lucky. Uh, sorry I didn't get it on camera, but that was just a quick reaction shot. And here I am going on the outside. I just hit where the breaker is. Has this nice pualu, but on the back side of him had this really big ooh. So I was following, following him, and I was like, okay, I don't want to spook him. I'm gonna go back up. I'm going to go around this big coral head and try to see if he kind of stays around and and I can get him on the, a different angle. So I did that. I kind of put down all my stuff and then kind of made a game plan and said, okay, I'm gonna try to sneak up, up and around, kind of just like hunting. But unfortunately, with this wave and current, I kind of lost him. I don't, I don't know where he went. It was a nice, nice sized parrotfish, and I haven't shot one in years. Because I, I kind of actually don't really like to shoot too much parrotfish. You know, I like, I, I like them. They're kind of a nice thing. They, they replenish the sand on the beach, right? So I don't shoot too many of them. But because it was a camp, I think, oh, maybe I can get some fish for the camp. But unfortunately, I didn't see anything papillos or anything but had this big school of veke which got me really excited i thought okay here we go maybe some other stuff might come in maybe other like when i see this and like all these blackfish usually there's a bunch of other fish that hang out with them so i make my drop i look around and just try to find something to shoot so i saw this orange spine unicorn fish and, and in fact i wanted to shoot one of these for a long time but never got the chance to so he went in that hole and I knew oh he's gonna pop out the back side so I, I swam around the other side and sure enough he popped out and boom long shot but man i'm telling you this raptor roller is it's pretty sick it's just it's just really smooth no kickback got a nice spine shot and ah yes got something for the grill all right all right, no whitewash this time. <laughs> All right, let's go secure this guy and let's head in. Because it's kind of a long dive in. Man, I'm getting kind of tired. And I want to be fighting the current all the way back in. So on the way back in, I saw a bunch of other stuff, but decided not to take it. We have enough fish for the grill or for the stove. Um, so it was just a great time just being in water, checking out new grounds. And see how all kind of new stuff that has has to offer. So I, I went down just to check out under these ledges, just to see what's under there, because you never know what you'll see. That's a uh, mission complete. At least I got some food for the table. But when I went back to the house, they had so much food that they said, "I only cooked the fish, so we'll cook this bugger up tomorrow." So let's go clean it, give it back to the environment, and. You know what? Maybe let's just do a little fishing and have some fun. Maybe we can get the kids on, all right, on guys, something. So, <laughs> this is my frozen taco legs, all pre-frozen. So it's all easy to um, use once you're ready to use it. Yeah, perfect. Skin ready to go. What's your fight's favorite bait? <laughs> so, all right, guys. So I'm also using Ika. I don't know what your guys' favorite bait. What is your guys' favorite bait to dunk? Mine would be taco and Ika because it stays on forever, or at least a long time. That way gives you a better chance to catch them. <laughs> All right, which one you vote? Which one you think in the comments? Which one's gonna hit, taco or the ika? What you think, the taco on top? Yes. Or maybe the taco on the bottom? I don't know. <laughs> So the rig I used, I had two hooks, one on top, one on the bottom, branch out style like Damashi style, but bigger line like 30 pound test leader. Hopefully that this area looks so good and nice little sand pockets that maybe an alu will come right before dark or a nice fatty oil will hopefully hit. All right, remember to put your bell on, check your drag and secure your pole. Trust me about the secure pole, I lost one one time. <laughs> Oh, 
remember always tie up your poles. Oh, uh, brother Kalani, thank you for giving me the pole ties, but I forgot them. Actually, they're on my boat. I use them on my boat, so thank you. <laughs> you can check out brother Kalani at real underscore aloha. He also does guitar and stuff, so real cool guy. But yeah, you go check him out. You guys see a lot of crabs? <laughs> hey bro, like and subscribe or else I want to come under your bed and tickle your paw. <laughs> no, you're not. As the sun quickly faded to darkness, we did what every Hawaii people do. We did the uh, <laughs> Hawaiian Easter egg hunt. In this case, what we do is go on the beach nighttime and try to catch sand crabs. It's super good fun for the kids. And what we try to do is just have them grab them with their hands, throw them in a bucket. Whoever gets the biggest one wins a prize. So it's always good fun. And of course, we're always catch and release, right? No crabs are harmed in the making of this. <laughs> but it's really good fun, super good fun for your kids. If you, get, you know, you guys have a chance to catch you this. Usually the smaller ones, the pinchers are so small, you won't really get pinched. But if you get real big ones, maybe a uh, scoop net. <laughs> Oh, there you go, Titus. You got it? Nice. You got him? Go, 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 go. I can't, I can't. No, I got it, I got it. Right there. Yes, Dad. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got one. You got one. Right there's one more. He's, just, he's burying himself. Hey, Dad, you got one more and we call the switch. Right here, you got it. There you go. Oh, watch out. I got one. I dropped it. You dropped it? All right, how many of you guys out there remember doing this as a kid? Or do you guys still, this, you still nice. do this with your guys' kids today? Right. Let me know in the comments. Okay, we're almost, we're almost back. You ready? All right, here you go. Be free. There you go, let them all run away. Let them all be free. Right when we got back, I heard my bell go off. Not very strong, but I heard it go off. So what do you guys think it is? I don't know what's on, but it's heavy. Something's definitely on here. <laughs> oh yeah, and if you guessed eel, <laughs> ding, 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 Great. ding, you are a winner. There's nothing but eels over here. I hate eels. <laughs> These guys always tangling your line and taking your bait, man. Ugh. All right, let's go get this guy free. Alright, here we go. Oops! <laughs> Alright, be free. And of course, boom! Caught another one. <laughs> Man, nothing but eels over here. And in fact, this one is a white eel, tohe. This one you can actually eat. And I, mean, I heard it makes great bait. But, since we're only staying here tonight, I'm just trying to get him unharmed, just get him unhooked and release as quick as I can. Let, let him grow up to be a big, fat white eel. Here we go. Bye bye. Bye. Ooh, man. Thought this spot would be amazing. But, <laughs> Eel City. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> oh, man. I've been up all night. <laughs> but, uh, look at this. Look at this beautiful, beautiful sunrise. Uh, it's not even sunrise yet, but, uh, it's pretty cool. Hopefully, uh, I'll rebate my pole real quick and uh, hopefully we catch something. All right. Um, hope you guys slept better than me. <laughs> All right. Hopefully, we catch something. Cool.
It was one heck of a long night, but I gotta admit, staying up all night to watch this sunrise was amazing. If you look at the sun, it actually looks like there's a double sunrise. There's two two suns coming up right over that mountain. It's weird. First time I ever seen that. It was amazing. Remember, you're catching more than fish, you're catching memories. All right, so, well, what a weekend. As you can see, I'm a little burnt. <laughs> it was super good fun. Uh, too bad we didn't catch anything, but uh, you know what? It was just a good time just to uh, experience it with my son and with his classmates, you know. Those are some things you can never forget, I guess. So remember, you're catching more than fish, you're catching memories. Is that right, son? Yep. Right? Yep. You can remember this, I hope, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, so. Let's go make some food. Let's get our cook on. All right, guys, check this out. Woo, baby. Lick your scoop. All right, guys, check this out. Oh, Bugger looks winner. Woo ha! All right, oh, look at that. Now, guys, that looks winner. Oh, yeah, that looks so winner. There we go. Woo ha ha ha. Hopefully, it doesn't steam up the camera, but bam! Oh, yeah, guys, look at that. Woo, cherry! All right, guys, here we go. So let's plate this. All I'm gonna do is take some fresh chives from the yard. Let's make a nice little bed of this for just a little snack and for color. Look at that, beautiful. Okay, put some on that. And here's the key. So this is another life hack. You're gonna grab some, some ginger spread, man, the cold ginger sauce. And what you're gonna do, instead of chopping up all the other stuff, you just take this sauce and you just pour it on top. Oh, baby, that looks so winners. You just load them up, guys, just like this. Oh. And no worry, beef curry. The hot oil is coming. Gee. Here it is, smoking hot oil. Yes, sir. Right on top, just like that. Oh, oh, oh. sizzle, yes, sir. Uh. Let's take a little show you, and boom, right on top. Yeah, <laughs> major. Eh, hey, in 10 minutes, you guys got a mean dish right there. Two minute prep, seven minute cook, woo, lick. Your screen.
No, but you want to try your sashimi? Sure. So this is the one that you wanted to try, right? Right, yeah. All right. Pretty good, it's just a lie. Really? Mm-hmm. Is it good? Mm hmm AJ, you want to try the fish? Sure. Which one you want to try? Um, this one. All right. The Moano. So this is with the ginger spread man sauce on it. With the hot oil. It's all for bones now. Yeah. But super soft and flaky, man. You're gonna like it. Put a little sauce on it. Yes, sir. How is it? It's delicious. Oh, it's good, huh? Yep. Did you get a little bit of sauce on top? Like, not to show you, but the, that green sauce? Yeah. It's good, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Wow, yeah, that's really good. Really good. So, okay, let's try the sashimi first. So, nobody really wants to try this. And I actually always wanted to shoot this fish. I just never saw it. So, finally got to do it. I'm really excited. Oh, this is put a little soak in there. Oh, wow, that is good. That's really good. I mean, wow, I gotta try another one. You're right, Nomi, it does taste like lye. It, it's like, it's firm, but it's really, really clean. I'm shocked of how clean it is. <laughs> You're right, Nomi, for the win. <laughs> Super good. Oh yeah, all right, here we go. Hope there's no bones, but it looks super good. Here you guys go. Ah! All right. Oh, oh, it smells so good. I wish you guys could try it. Oh, it smells so good. Mmm. Mmm. Nine out of ten. Recommend. Super soft, juicy, flaky, delicious. Oh, with that little sauce on top, it just gives it a kick. It is amazing. Trust me, if you're on a pinch for a quick, easy, delicious, tasty meal, this is it. So, hope that guys helps you guys. Um, if you guys like this, the whole catch, cook, the whole experience, make sure you guys like and subscribe. It really means a lot to me and my family. And uh, like always on the show, we always say, take care of yourselves. Take care of others. And all right, catch you guys on the next one. Aloha, guys. Hee. All right, fish eye time. You want me to get it? I mean the whole head. What? Oh, you want the whole head on me? Yeah. That's the kind Hawaiian style. Yeah, use the chopstick, you can take out the eye. Yeah, the scoop. Oh, there you go. Just scoop the whole thing out. Oh, see? Easy, yeah? You got it. Mm -hmm. Hey, Jaden gets the other one, okay? Okay. Oh. Show you. Oh. <laughs> that good, huh? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Oh! <laughs> there you go, buddy. You want the eye? Sure. Yeah. Chopstick time. You. Watch these guys, you got it. Yeah, all the way down, all the way out. You gotta get, oh yeah, the whole socket, yeah? Oh, there you go, the ooey gooey stuff. Oh! Remember, don't swallow the white part. Is it good? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yee! <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, sorry. Look, no, did you hold it? Oh, clean house! Dude, you don't need to like eat every piece of that fish. Jeez, you know what I mean? Oh, that, that, that finger looking good, huh? Mm -hmm. Dude, you eat every part of that head. That good, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, love you guys. Uh, I hope you guys had fun on this adventure. Uh, if you guys did, make sure you guys like and subscribe if you're not a subscriber yet. And uh, yeah, take care of yourselves, take care of others. Catch you on the next one. Hello, guys. Holy bumpy roads. <laughs>